السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دیز اے چیپٹر نمبر سیون الیکٹرو کیمسٹری ایس ایل او نمبر سیون پوائنٹ سکس پوائنٹ ون کوروجن آلسو وی اے ویدر ایس ایل او سیون پوائنٹ سکس پوائنٹ ٹو ڈسکرائب دا رسٹنگ آف آئرن اینڈ سیون پوائنٹ سکس پوائنٹ تھری ایکسپلین دا میتھڈس یوزڈ ٹو پریوینٹ کوروجن سو ون بائی ون وی ول ڈسکس ان دا بک سو ہیئر کوروجن and its prevention so coro first we have to describe or define the corrosion corrosion is slow and continues eating away of metal by the surrounding medium it is redox chemical reaction we will discuss redox chemical reaction here in same topic that takes place by the action of air means rusting occurs in the presence of air means oxygen is present in the air and moisture with the metals it means for the rusting for the corrosion we have to uh, presence of air means oxygen metals in which corrosion occurs and moisture means steam water which is present in the air the most common example of corrosion is the rusting of iron so this is the most common corrosion so we will discuss rusting of the iron actually rusting is used for only iron <coughs> while for other elements we use corrosion and corrosion is very slow process due to corrosion metals cannot remain for long time and it breaks quickly or fastly corrosion or rusting occurs in the presence of a metal means we have need of metal water and oxygen present in air so we are going to start from here it's a rusting of iron corrosion is general term but corrosion of iron is called rusting so rusting only word is used for the iron for other elements we are going to use the corrosion the important condition for rusting is moist air means air having water vapors in it there will be no rusting in water vapors free of air or air free of water means if there is no water in the form of steam there no will be the rusting so now we study the chemistry of rusting process stains and dents on the surface of the iron provide the sites for this process to occur so sometime we will see the metal becomes stains dents or cracks due to the reaction of the oxygen water in the presence air in the form of steam so this region is called anodic region yeah, again we will discuss anodic region or cathodic region here this is the anodic region this is the cathodic region so again we will discuss here so this region is called anodic region and following oxidation reaction takes place here so starting reactions is from here so these uh, reaction again this reaction we will discuss here if we so this is the af means iron when lose electrons it become positive charge positive two means two electrons lost by the iron so this is two iron means one iron loses two electrons other iron loses two electrons so this is the four electrons when atom lose electrons it become positive charge this is called oxidation the lose of electron is called oxidation again this loss of electron damages the object so here we will discuss the free electrons move through iron sheet until they reach to the region of the relatively high oxygen concentration near the surface surrounded by the water layer as shown in figure 7.6 this is the 7.6 rusting of the iron here we will discuss these all points 
with the detail so again <coughs> this region act as a cathodic cathode and electrons reduce the oxygen molecule in presence of hydrogen ions so this oxygen when react with the h positive means from this one when electron lost these electrons gain by the hydrogens react with the oxygen to form the water so again the hydrogen ions are provided by the carbonic acid how hydrogen ions are provided so we know the carbon dioxide is present in air the carbon dioxide react with the water to form the carbonic acid so this carbonic acid provides the hydrogen ions so which is formed because of the presence of carbon dioxide in water that is why acidic medium accelerates the process of rusting so the overall redox process is complete without the formation of rust so this is a reaction in which no rust is formed because if we react with oxygen and hydrogen positive ions these are again here we have a reactions uh, here we will discuss these all points that to form the fe positive two ions and a 2h2 so there is no any formation of the rust again the fe positive two ions formed from uh, spreads through the out the surroundings water and reacts with the oxygen to form the salt fe2 when we see here the reaction fe positive 2 these fe positive 2 will react with the oxygen this is the oxygen in the form of air which is present so here again uh, reaction the fe positive 2 is spread through the out of the surroundings water and react with the oxygen to form the salt it will form the fe2o3 and molecules of the water which is called rust this is rust so here is shown this is the rust which surrounds the metal fe so it is also a redox reaction we will discuss how this is the redox reactions so we have to know redox reaction means uh, in same reaction uh, one side oxidation occurs and other ox uh, side reduction occurs let's suppose this is the fe positive 2 when fe positive 2 here react with the oxygen and n number of molecules of the water it forms fe2 o3 nh2o and 4h positive here f e is positive 2 this is the positive 2 while here oxygen having minus 2 charge we know minus 2 multiplied by 3 it becomes minus 6 then understood this will be the plus 6 so from plus 2 to plus 6 so this is the here becomes a plus 6 so this is the oxidation oxidation means oxidation means increase in the charge while here oxygen is a zero we know that free element having no charge that is a zero so from here so if this one is a plus six this one is the minus six from zero to minus six it reduces so oxygen reduces this is a reduction while iron from plus two to plus six this is the oxidation so here they written that it is also redox reaction this is the redox reaction the rest of iron is pores and does not prevent further corrosion this is rusting continues until the whole piece of the iron is eaten away so slowly slowly the whole metal will uh, eaten away so now we have to discuss the 7.6 rusting of iron figure let's suppose these are reactions are written in the above side this is the Fe, this is iron, this is the iron. When this iron, this is the iron, again this is the iron. When lose two electrons, it becomes positive two charge. When iron, this is the iron, again this is written in figure, lose two electrons, this is two electrons or four electrons become positive charge. These electrons move towards the cathodic region. So once again I am going to tell you uh, iron loses two electrons and anode side uh, lose electrons in the anodes because uh, we know because uh, in anode there is uh, always oxidation there always oxidation reaction occurs and these two electrons move from anode to uh, cathodic region 
where they need to react with the oxygen hydrogen ions so we can uh, clear this one so when if e loses two electrons it become positive two charge these electrons travel move to cathodic region where is there is another reaction so these electrons react with the h positive and oxygen we h positive obtained from where let's suppose we have a water so when water let's suppose we have a water this is the h2 let's suppose this h2 when breaks it will forms uh, four h positive and o2 so we obtain h positive so again here is written that h positive obtains from the water and oxygen is present in the form of air when these electrons travel from anodic region to cathodic region these four electrons obtained by the h positive which lost by the iron now again here is the reduction because gain of the electron is called reduction and charge decreases so again here is the formation of the water so we can say that so again and again water uh, generates in the liquid form so here so water forms so we can uh, again discuss this reaction here if e positive 2 this is the if e positive 2 this h2 is present this is a oxygen present in the environment so if e positive 2 react with the oxygen which is present in the air also react with the water when if e positive 2 o2 and water react it forms if e2 o3 in molecules of the water so this is the formation of the uh, rust which forms so again uh, uh, so the after after uh, so after uh, the reaction upper of the iron occurs stain dent or uh, cracks and slow iron eaten away so this is uh, resting of the iron which we discussed in the uh, diagram uh, figure 7.6 now we have a, a prevention of corrosion how we prevent the metals from the corrosion so we have some uh, removal of say, let's suppose stains and uh, paints and greasing alloying metallic coating so here the region of stains in an iron rod it is the site of the corrosion so if the surface of iron is properly cleaned means when iron's surface cleaned properly so there will be no any corrosion and stains are removed stains are removed it would prevent rusting so paints and greasing so we always uh, paints means some colors uh, in the upper side of the metal or greasing to prevent from the corrosion uh, because these paints are uh, greasings and do not react with the water they repel the water because uh, water is a polar nature greasing or paints organic compounds let's say they have having the non-polar nature so they do not react and uh, do not form the rust so they also prevent from the rusting greasing or printing of the surface can prevent the rusting of iron with the development of technologies modern paints contains a combination of chemicals called stabilizers that's the provide protection uh, against the corrosion and the addition of prevention against the uh, withering and other atmosphere effects uh, other the alloying actually alloy the combination of two metals or two uh, more than two metals or metal and non-metals is called alloying alloy is a homogeneous mixture of one metal with another metals or non-metals alloying of iron with other metals has proved to be very successful uh, successful uh, technique against rusting the best example of alloy is the stainless steel this is the stainless steel which is a good combination of uh, stainless steel is a combination of iron chromium and nickel these three metal combines to form the alloy which is called stainless steel so, means uh, there's a no any 
uh, occurs rust so here uh, there is the uh, metallic coating so again the best method for protection against the corrosion of metal exposed to acidic conditions is coating the metal with the other metals means uh, there is also coating so we will discuss in the electroplating uh, where we discuss uh, metallic coating means the coat one metal to another metal layer one metal to another metal uh, for the uh, prevention of corrosion so metal with the other metal corrosion resist the metals like uh, zinc tin and chromium are coated on the surface of iron to protect it from the corrosion so we will discuss in the electroplating these uh, zinc tin and chromium for the electroplating it is the most widely applied technique in the food industries where food is a tin packed so some uh, materials uh, packed in the tin packed uh, are components um, prepared and packed in the tin packed material the containers of irons are coated with a tin some iron containers coated through the electrolytic process electrolysis process to uh, prevent the corrosion uh, through the tin to give it longer life a metallic coating can take place by the physical as well as the electrolytic method so in electrolytic method we will discuss the electroplating in detail so this uh, was about the rust uh, corrosion uh, corrosion and its uh, prevention so first uh, what what does it mean of the corrosion so and again how uh, the methods we have to apply uh, from the prevention of uh, corrosion